Hi, I'm Ken Bensinger, automotive industry reporter for the Los Angeles Times. Today, General Motors announced a new uh, advertising campaign designed to get people to buy their vehicles. The campaign will allow consumers to purchase vehicles, and if they don't like them, return them within 60 days of purchasing them. That money-back guarantee is a new uh, direction for GM, one it hasn't taken in many years, and is a bit bold for the company, but it's a desperate attempt to get uh, public image uh, improved for the company, which has really taken a huge hit since the bankruptcy filing earlier this year, as well as uh, the whole long process of receiving $50 billion in federal bailout aid from the company. That guarantee will be accompanied along with a uh, long advertising campaign that kicks off next week, uh, which will compare GM vehicles to vehicles from competitors like Honda, Toyota, and even Asian brands. GM hopes that by increasing its spending on its four remaining brands, Chevrolet, Cadillac, Buick, and GMC, it can get people back in behind the wheels because it claims that its vehicles are as good or better than anything else out there, and the only problem is the public doesn't know it. Uh, it remains to be seen whether that will work, but GM's new leadership team, which has a new CEO and a new separate chairman, uh, are putting all of their muscle and a lot of money behind this program. Uh, so uh, those of you who want to drive a GM vehicle and are worried you want, might not li like it, this is a good time to do it. You can get your money back if you hate it. Uh, separately today, GM announced uh, that it would uh, complete the sale of its Opel and Vauxhall brands, which are based in Europe. Uh, to a parts supplier in Canada called Magna International, as well as a Russian bank and a Russian automaker. Uh, it's the end of a long, painful period of negotiations with the German government and with potential buyers, uh, with several other bidders, including a Chinese company involved. Uh, the, the winning bidder, Magna, essentially was pushed by the German government, and uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel, who, who felt that it would reduce job losses and would help her at the polls, where she faces a, a parliamentary election later this month. Um, that deal will still leave 35% of Opel in the hands of GM, which the automaker says will help it uh, preserve uh, product in integration across all its platforms, uh, which is important considering that many GM product platforms in the U.S. and, in, and the rest of the world are based on Opel designs. Uh, that's the news from the Autodesk today.